When Pluto trines or sextiles Mars in Sinistry, both have an easier flowing feeling, which can calm these aggressive planets potentially. They have a more natural understanding of each other. If the conjunction makes them feel extremely similar, then the trine would have very compatible similarities and the sextile is familiar, but kind of a different vibe. Despite the compatible similarities in the trine, even the wrong people could wind up at odds, so it's still a good idea to handle these aspects with care. This aspect is significantly less tension, and there's a good understanding of what makes each other tick with a natural tendency to act and be in a way that doesn't cause alarm to each other. The obsession may still mark a Pluto trine Mars aspect immediately, but the trine could become too easy for some, and eventually one could lose interest. Plenty of other sinistry present would help this a lot. The trine easily helps the two transform each other even without trying. Pluto learns how to handle fears and dark subconscious things while Mars learns about their ego, drive, and even aggression or sexuality. They guide each other to growth. With the sextile, their similarities are less of an attraction, usually, but their differences feel close to home and almost natural. There's a dash more tension than a trine, but they are essentially able to form an intimate physical bond easily and teach each other to grow through it. On an ending note, Mars trine Pluto is best used with a 5 degree orb or less since Pluto is such a slow moving planet and a trine is a major aspect. But for Mars sextile Pluto, I would use 3 degrees or less for an orb since it's going to require more precise measurements. If you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for watching!